Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Angela from MedFit Medical Weight Loss here in Denver. Thanks for joining me and thanks for letting me have a week off. I've been off for about 10 days and it was fantastic. It was good because I hardly ever take time off during the year. And so this is just my one time where I get to spend time reflecting on the year, also spending time with my family, my daughter Haley, who opened like a ton of Christmas presents. Um, and uh, we had some family in town coming from Kansas and it was just a really good time to just be grateful for where I am, uh, all the people that surround me, all the people that I love, and just feel refreshed just before 2017 begins. So uh, for most of you who are lucky to have this week off, congratulations. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and uh, we're just finishing up the last few days of 2016, getting up for the new year. Um, just kind of spending, want to take a moment to um, take a moment of silence for some very important people that passed away um, not too long ago. This is um, Alan Thicke, who we found out that he died of a ruptured aorta. And um, also, unfortunately, George Michael, huge fan of him, who passed away on Christmas Day. In fact, we've got his music on Pandora today, um, a tribute to him and actually, um, uh, makes us feel good and makes us appreciate you know what we have here on this earth and then um, just makes us uh, want to reflect on you know the things that can happen to us at any moment uh, the different health problems that can literally sneak up on you and so again it's my opportunity and responsibility to just allow myself to help you I know some of you are kind of gearing up for the new year. Some of you are starting to kind of worry about their health. I, my, my birthday is gonna be in a couple weeks. I'm starting to age and so I do understand that there are things that I need to be better at as far as taking care of my health um, because uh, you know a lot of us have children. It's uh, I understand now that it's not about me. I have to make sure that I take care of myself uh, for Haley, I want to. I mean, she's only two. I've got to make sure that I'm like still, you know, kicking and screaming. You know, by the time she crosses that high school graduation stage, and uh, making sure that she, you know, gets a good education and goes off to college and gets a good career out of herself. So, um, for those of you who are reflecting on your health, um, I'm here. This is the place to be. I can do it in a jiffy, which is fantastic. I can make sure that you do it safely and let you really turn around 2017 because that worry on your head of having a heart attack any moment now can be lessened just like that if you join my program. So, you know, if you are starting to kind of build up the momentum, starting to feel really nervous about Again, you know, your blood pressure, your blood sugar, you know, what kind of things do you need to do to start improving your health? Uh, give us a call at 303-321-0023 or you can go online and schedule your appointment at denverweightlossclinic.com. So I just want to make sure that I, you know that I'm there for you and I know that you are kind of at a crossroads right now. This is the time of the year when we are thinking about our health, um, how we take care of ourselves, and just making sure that we are there for our loved ones and that we don't have that worry that tomorrow may never come. And that's really just not a life to live if you're constantly going to bed with that feeling. So just wanna let you know that, but all right, so I'm going to keep this nice and quick because I know you guys are enjoying your time. Christmas week off, uh, you don't have to go to work. You can enjoy this week and really gear up for 2017. So the title of this video is Fix This Before 2017. So I know that you know your neighbor, probably you saw them walk outside with their running gear and they look like they're going to the gym. 
your girlfriends already signed up for their Orange Theory or their 24-hour gym membership and they've already sort of kind of like, you know, put on their schedule, they got a little click together, you know, and they all committed that they're going to be there at 5.30 in the morning every morning uh, for the month of January. And you are sitting there in your jammies and thinking, hmm, I know that I need to make that New Year's resolution again. I just, you know, those people just probably just, I don't know, you, you kind of want to make fun of them, right? You're just like, well, I don't, you know, I'm just not one of them. They're just like, you know, people who want to go out and work out, and that's just not me. And then you start to kind of get into that, well, you know, everybody, you know, ends up failing their resolution after like two weeks. And then you start to kind of tell, tell yourself, well, I probably shouldn't start anyways because like everybody else, I'm just gonna, you know, I always go all or nothing. And if I don't get results, which is usually after about a week, then I'm gonna quit too. So I might as well save my money and my time by not joining that gym membership. Are these the thoughts that you're having? Are you making fun of those other people who are trying to get the hustle and bustle out there? And are you just, you know, just not one of those people? And I'm here to tell you, that's okay. You don't have to join the gym. However, you do need to fix one thing. And this one thing is for 2017. So I want you to actually take this week to practice. So you got a whole week to get this going before January 1 hits. And it is your mindset, okay? And particularly, this is the one easy thing that will get your momentum so that not only are you going to crush your New Year's resolution, you're gonna stay committed, you're gonna get that motivation, and you're gonna be lasting much longer than those other people who uh, again decided they're gonna wake up at 530 who knows some people actually do it and they sustain it some people drop off like flies and I don't want you to be one of them and so this is the one thing you want to fix before 2017 and that is your morning all right you heard it that is my secret you need to fix your morning so you're probably asking well, what the heck does that mean um, you know I wake up you know my alarm goes off I hit snooze you know at least once if not twice sometimes three times it certainly felt like a third time today as this is technically our Monday um, going back to work today and uh, you know you brush your teeth you know you shower up do your makeup and then you realize that you've got uh, a load of work that you have to accomplish for the day uh, and you are just a few minutes late running out the door that is already setting you up for failure you need to figure out how to fix your mornings so that you can have the right start, the right mindset. And this is not just starting with breakfast. Now you know breakfast is the most important part of the meal of the day, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how are you in control of your day? And if you're hitting snooze three times, if you're leaving the door late a few minutes, you're bound to hit traffic, you're bound to be rushing into the office, you're bound to have like 10 million phone calls and emails and you already started the day in chase mode. You wanna stay on top. Now, it doesn't necessarily require you to wake up at five o'clock in the morning, but you can wake up about maybe 10 to 15 minutes earlier and believe it or not, you can get some things accomplished in that 10 to 15 minute time frame, literally before you even leave the door. Now, this is all based on a book that I got for Christmas. And I'm really excited. I'm actually only in a few chapters in, but I am totally a supporter and it makes sense. And this is your ticket to success. And it's called The Miracle Morning. It talks about the techniques that all successful people practice that gets the productivity juices flowing, gets you to get into that habit mindset, gets you set up for success. But if you are doing the opposite, that is actually how you're gonna create your day and you wonder why you are going through, you know, some 
food in your pantry or if you work from home or maybe in the, um, the employee lounge and looking for some snacks because you're tired, you're stressed out already, and like I said, it's the mindset that you're already behind. So I want to give you guys a seven day challenge and I've already started today. This is part of that Miracle Morning Challenge. I want you to wake up just 10 minutes before you normally do, just 10 minutes. And then you ask, well, what am I supposed to do with that extra 10 minutes? We'll start your day earlier. Then you'll realize, huh, well, I have 10 minutes to do something before I head out the door. Now, for me, that tells me I have plenty of time to make sure I have my breakfast. I have plenty of time to make sure I walk my dog. I have plenty of time to make sure that my daughter gets changed and fed before I'm leaving. And I have plenty of time knowing that even if I run into traffic, I will still go to work and be on time. And that feeling and that sensation means that I'm in control of my day. No matter how busy I am, I'm already walking into my office with that strong mindset of like, okay, I'm ready for the day rather than I'm tired. You know, it's gonna be a long day. I'm just, you know, I'm not in the mood. You know, I've been off for Christmas and just not really in, you know, the mood to go back to work type of thing. And it would just not, um, you know my day would basically be ruined uh, thereafter so so I recommend 10 minutes before you uh, usually wake up and uh, no snoozing okay so don't hit that snooze button that doesn't count so you gotta hit 10 minutes if you feel like you're gonna snooze then add an extra five minutes wake up 15 minutes give yourself one snooze option but then be out of bed 10 minutes and again that creates your mindset one bonus tip that I do that is also noted in this book again the miracle morning by Hal Elrod is is that you take a moment of gratitude now I have a gratitude journal again I write down 10 things that I'm grateful every single morning and it get it helps me reflect on the fullness of my life again especially in these times when we've had some important people pass away this is when uh, a lot of people um, health issues tend to come up because it is a stressful time it usually hits during the winter but this is the time to make a difference this is the time to create that momentum and if you just use this week to start this new habit again just 10 minutes it go by like that and then you'll control your day you'll be productive and then you'll hop onto the next habit and perhaps it might be exercise you might be one of those that do wants to go to the gym you know 30 minutes before you go to work whatever it is but it's going to get you in that right mindset so that you are going to start 2017 strong and Create your success, not wait for it. All right, so that's my quick tip. Thanks again for listening to me. Again, this is just you know short and sweet because I know you guys are having fun uh, as you deserve some time off this week. But I encourage you to take the time off to really gear up so that you can have a successful 2017. All right, so I will see you next year, okay? And don't forget, if you want to cash in on um, making sure that you take care of your health, let me help you get your weight off. Come visit www.denverweightlossclinic.com so I can help you uh, start 2017 with a bang. All right, I will see you next year.